to me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. If I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me, it leaves my mind. Imagine how the world could be so very fine, so happy together. Toss the dice, it had to be The only one for me is you And you for me, so happy together It had to be The only one for me is you And you for me So happy together Thank you! I've been trapped in that rock for centuries And evil witch trapped me in there Until I could find true love I'm going to go frolic in the meadow. Thank you. Bye, la, 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 la. <laughs> that was awesome, David. Thanks, pal. But I couldn't have done it without you. I know. We come up with such great video ideas together. I know. Like me being in love with my pet rock, Gertrude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that that project's done, what should we do now? Well, I was thinking, you know how we're such a good movie-making team and stuff? Like, how we both write the things, and we both videotape our ideas, and we can edit and everything like that. Yeah. What would happen if we got more people to join us? Like who? Well, I was thinking Chelsea and Jordan. Like, Jordan already helps us out with our videos. He was in the end of that one. Okay. Really? You want to? Well, as long as we can do our own videos sometimes, just the two of us. Yeah, we can create a separate thing for videos that we make as a big group. What should we call it? Kingdom Hilarious Hearts. <laughs> I think that's too long, but I like Kingdom Hearts, and I think we should have everything have to do with that video game in our videos. Okay, I think that'll get a lot of people's attention to our videos. But what should we shorten it to? I don't know, but you know what I'm thinking we need? <laughs> what? Our notebook! <laughs> yeah, our notebook! Woo! change the first word though. No, we already changed the first word. Yeah. We change the second one. Kingdom Farts. 
Because it, it's basically it rhymes sounds, with hearts. It sounds yeah. like hearts. Gay dumb. Could okay. shorten yeah, up. it's gonna be shortened up. Okay. G for Gdum, like Kingdom. Far K G F. How about just K G F? Like this Kingdom. Kingdom farts hilarious. Like. People gotta know that's funny, so what if we put like ha ha at the end of it? Like ha ha ha, okay. Kingdom Farts. Okay, yeah. so we could like, when they say ha ha, maybe they can start laughing. Yeah, that, that's like genius. Kingdom Farts. Ha uh, ha. <laughs> KGF ha ha. Yeah. I think we got a winner. Well, let's start writing down video ideas. All right. Hey, what's this about a dragon? Did you write that? Hey, let me see. I didn't want to tell you yet because I didn't know how you'd take it. But I guess I should tell you now. Tell me what? I've been having these dreams about this dragon. Almost like a prophecy. And in my dreams, the dragon has come to destroy the world, okay? But until he does, he lives in a cave right in the forest behind her school. What happens? Well, there are only two chosen ones in the entire world that can stop him. Who? Us. No, oh no, 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 David, I can't fight a dragon, I can't do that, what if I get hurt, what if you get hurt? Shh, you don't want your mom hearing about this, do you? Ma! Uh, shut up! Please! I'm scared too, but don't worry, I don't think it's gonna happen for a long time. Not until we're ready. How will we know when we're ready? I think something will just lead us there, right to the dragon. Well, okay. So what does this dragon look like? Like, Spyro the Dragon? I don't know, actually. And what do you see in your dreams? This is all I know about what he looks like. This is us approaching the dragon's cave for the first time. And those glowing red eyes, that's the dragon? That's him, all right. It's all I know what he looks like. Oh, but the caves are barred off. There's no way you can get out. Nathaniel, he's a dragon. He can just crush the bars or melt them with his fire attack or something. You're right. So everything you say, it's all going to happen? Well, most of it. Actually, this is kind of just a little more of a story than what my dreams told me. Like, it was. I'm, I'm kind of just filling in the blanks, really. But this is basically what's going to happen. Oh, cool! We can make it a movie someday! Exactly what I was thinking! Dude, we're gonna defeat a real-life dragon! I know! We're gonna be heroes! I know! This calls for a celebratory song! I with ya, buddy! My body has a revolution! My body has a revolution! My I gotta go. Mom's here. Oh, okay. Bye, David. Bye, Nathaniel. <laughs> you might want to zipper up your hoodie. It's raining. Good idea. It's pretty nifty out there. It's cold. Yeah. I'll see you later, buddy. Bye, buddy. You know the book, like you know, our, our, our sketchbook, our, our notepad that we wrote like all of our ideas down for all those videos. Grade. Yeah, from 8th grade. Let's go look for it. Oh no. What? 
Dude, it's in the dump. It's like behind the scroll, past the trail. It's gotta be there somewhere. You're late. Thank you. The wizard arrives precisely when he intends to. Okay. Let's go. Oh, where is this dump? Right here. Right here. That you wanna fight, she would even miss you if you talk aside. Call a politician, lean into the right. Nothing. I know, I know, I know. The best thing I see is something. I mean, it's just like. Hmm. Ha ha ha! Dude! This is your drawing! That is your drawing! That was in our book! You know what I think this means? What? I think. Following this path, we might be able to find more. Yeah, with like all these gears, there's gotta be more over there. Yeah, it looks like there's like kind of leading over there. Hey Dave, I think I see something shiny in here. This might actually be our book. I think it is. You can never see yourself ringing all around it. Oh. It is definitely open. We got a bag. We have reason to burn remains. It's not the same! God! No one can see us. No one can see us. You lay back. You lay back. Dragons living in caves and aggregate and stuff, I would assume you would know! That was years ago! It was all a dream that I just so happened to believe was going on. It was all just my imagination. Oh yeah, well it must have been pretty good because your imagination is in that cave there and it's gonna kill everyone. Okay, you know what? There's no logical explanation for that being a dragon. Maybe it was just two guys with red lights and that noise came from something else. Well, excuse me for seeing two glowing red eyes, hearing a monster scrawl, and my mind jumping to the conclusion it's a dragon! No, that's crazy, right? I mean, a dragon. Not only the fact that it's a dragon, but the exact same vision that I saw in my dream. The exact same glowing red eyes and the exact same sound he made. Which is even what I wrote down in our book. Which is all happening as we speak. Speak.
What does it mean? I'm over here. Oh yeah. What could it mean? I don't know. What, what could it mean? Muerte. De lechuga. Lechuga. De muerte. No. I don't understand. Muerte. What are we gonna do? Well, what does Muerte de Lechuga mean? That's a message, obviously. Well, a message sent to us. Yeah, but, okay, it's Spanish, right? I think Probably. So. Lettuce, lechuga, lettuce. Le that would lettuce. make sense. Yes, yes. So there's a lettuce. Yes. De with a knife! Day. Is Day. It today, or? No. I think it's by. Bye. Bye. That's right. Bye. Lettuce. Bye. Lettuce. So he has Muerte. a knife. Muert Murdered by, by lettuce? lettuce? There's a killer lettuce There's in There's a killer house? lettuce in your house? We gotta do something. Should we call the police? No. Um... Well, uh... We gotta get rid of it. How do we get rid of normal uh, lettuce? We have to eat it? No! Is there something wrong with eating lettuce? I've had a bad experience with talking food before. Ha ha ha! I'm so buttery! Don't you want to rub my butter? Don't you want to give me a tan, put me back in the toaster? Don't you want to rub me? Not really. <laughs> I'm butter! 
butter toast. Oh yeah. Don't you wanna touch my butter? Oh my god! What did you do to me? <laughs> Dude. We need to get rid of it. Yeah. But I thought you said we couldn't kill it. No, but we gotta figure out a way to get it. Out. Of there. Get it out of your house. Yes. We must plan. We must plan. To the workbench! To the planning room workbench! Galaxy keys and open the primary entrance to Tartarus before we could obtain the weapons of Hyperion. Those are the only weapons able to destroy the cell of Uranus and deactivate the galaxy keys. And once Kronos is fully restored, the rest of the Titans will soon follow. Harrison, we failed. Don't you think that for one second, Stuart? We can't afford to fail. We're not completely out of options. What else can we do? Remember what Gaia said about the power she gave us. It is the most powerful force in the multiverse. It's stored inside of our hearts. But this power has the potential to take physical form and destroy all the things around it. We must use this power. It's the only way! You're right. It's the only thing that could destroy the Titans. But Gaia also said it's incredibly dangerous. It would create a rip in the space-time continuum. It could destroy the entire solar system. But that's what the Titans will do if we fail. We must take a chance. But even if we do succeed, this would kill us. Myers. For Myers! <laughs> Basically saying that prophecy that you had come up with is coming true? Not exactly. I think it's the book. What do you mean it's the book? What I wrote in the book was different from my actual dream. Like, you, you know how I, wa how I wanted to turn it into a story? We could like turn it into a movie or something someday. Well, that particular story, I think, has now entered our world. Like the one I had in the book. I mean, I know at this point the whole prophecy thing might make a little bit more sense, but... No, actually, I think you're right. You do? It makes sense now. Back a while ago, I wrote something in the book about a magical stone being delivered to me by a mailman that looked like a knight being sent to me by an old squirrel hermit. And recently, that mailman came to my house and delivered that stone, which brought all my puppets to life. 
Okay, for the record, that still sounds really random, and I'm still having a hard time grasping the whole concept that your puppets are alive, but in light of recent events, I'll just have to believe you. It's true! Well, can they help us defeat the dragon? Mm, yes, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, hello, my name is Dr. Moody. I am a scientist in the strange and bizarre, hmm, yes. Today I will be... Today I will be experimenting with foods, and we will see which foods can be made into taking time bombs, hmm, yes. First we will... What in the world is that? Audrey Fall, what in the world are you doing? I'm eating tortillas. Duh. Well, could you please eat quieter, please? I'm trying to work on an experiment. Hmm, yes. Okay, I'll try. Thank you. Excuse me. Now, as I was saying, first we will test... Audrey Fool! What? I asked you to eat quieter! And I said I'd try! I tried! It didn't work! Well, okay, let's try this. Hey, that's mine! Mo? What? Please keep an eye on Audrey Fool, please. Okay, whatever. Hurrah! No! As I was saying, we will be testing... Oh, for the love of Newton! No! What are you doing? I'm eating a chili dog! That's a pack of frozen hot dogs. That's why I said, chili dog! Mo, I ask you to watch him, please. I did watch him. I watched him hop to the laundry room freezer and back with unfrozen hot dogs. Okay, we have a serious problem here. So, you think Audrey 4 has an eating disorder? I know he has an eating disorder. His unhealthy eating of cookies and everything else is going to kill him. So what do we do then? Speed up the process so we die sooner. What? No, we can't do that. Audrey Forrest one of Thanos' original puppets. Well, we have to do something. Hmm. Why don't we give him something that will make him lose his appetite? Stenu, you're a genius. Why? Thank you, Doctor. Hmm. <laughs> and I've got just the thing. Hmm. A chili dog? I don't know, Dr. Moody. I think your plan's a little flawed. Oh, oh just you wait and see, Otto. Oh, here they come. So what's this all about, Stenu? There is a gift for you outside! What is it? I don't see it. Uh. Come on, swallow it. Swallow it. And click it. What in the world was that? That was today's experiment. Hmm. <laughs> and it was successful. Hmm, yes. Hmm. Well, can they help us defeat the dragon?
doubt it. I mean, they're made of fabric and yeah, felt. Yeah, probably not. We don't need to worry about them at this point. So, if you wrote your puppets into the book, and I wrote the dragon into the book, we can assume that everything else that we wrote into the book has come to life as well, right? I suppose. Then I'd say what I wrote about is totally clobbering the dragon in the book will happen as well. Right, then how shall we proceed in clobbering this dragon? Not quite sure. I have forgotten. Marvelous. Dude, just give me a second to remember. <sighs> David, can we really rely on something like this? No reason we can't. It's not coming to me. I think I remember explaining it to you one day after we did... something? What were we doing that day when I told you? Was it our video game Olympics? I don't think so. Was it the time we threw computer pieces off the bridge? Mm, I... no. Was it when we were recording the Noodly Noodle song? No. No, 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 no. Was it... with... When we went to town and pretended we were gangsters? That was you and Jordan. Oh, that's right. Uh, I think we were editing a video that day. Was it the KGF Haha uh, Idol auditions? Uh, that wasn't it, that wasn't it. I think that was long after. Uh, what came before? Oh, my Gertrude music video! Uh, the one that we filmed in autumn? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. I gotta watch it now. Why? Ah! Ah! We are in the workbench! Yes! Do you have any paper? Nope! Wait, it's me that has yep. paper. I didn't bring paper. Nope! We need to go get yep. paper. So we need to go back in the house. Yep! <sighs> Let's go. You say I'm here, I'll get it. Okay. <laughs> Cactuses. <laughs> I got the paper. Okay. Think like a vegetable. How do we do that? We become vegetables. Ah. Ah. Are you a vegetable yet? No. Are you? No. What are you doing? Turning myself into a vegetable. Are you giving yourself an ice pick lobotomy? Maybe. Screw this, back to the drawing board. Okay. Oops. Okay, back to the drawing board. Alright. Drawing board! How about we get the lettuce? I can't see, move! Uh, ah, that's a knife. Nice. Nice and nice. Okay. okay. What if we built a giant slingshot and and uh, uh Okay, I have a better idea. What if you know the the, 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 the lettuce is like Spanish, right? Yes. So what if we sent the lettuce that is 
the lettuce, yes, lettuce. said lettuce, yes. and we we, we, we we get him onto a shovel, a shovel with okay. a fulcrum. A fulcrum? And What's a fulcrum? A, that's a fulcrum. Oh, okay. We need to get it back to where it came from. Where? Over the border. The, and so the border cowl? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, we uh, need to put a weight so we can like launch a slingshot okay. down onto this. We launch okay. the lattice onto the slingshot, launching the lattice over the border back to safety. Uh, the, the, the border to Mexico? The border to Canada. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, Where's Canada? Okay, hold on. Okay. Well, hold on. I don't think we have the technology to build a slingshot. What if we just... That's true, that's true, that's true. Uh, Oh, oh, uh... Move it, I can't see! Ah, we get a Pegasus Pony. And we have the Pegasus Pony. Um, yeah, pick it up and drop it on the shovel, and then the, the Pegasus Pony drops onto the shovel, and then the Pegasus Pony, uh, smiles and rainbows come out. Someone needs to be riding the Pegasus Pony. Oh, but... Uh, uh, we'll get the lettuce to ride it. So the lettuce will ride the Pegasus okay. Pony, launching the lettuce under the fulcrum, launching the lettuce over the border. Oh, that wouldn't work. How, can How could we... it work? Um... How could it not work? Wait! We've been trying to launch the lettuce over. But what we need to do is launch it up. Up? Up! Into outer space! Outer space? Yes! Oh, okay, but first we need to get a hold of the lettuce. How do you lure the Spanish lettuce? Tacos! Okay, so we need to get the ingredients to a taco. What the ingredients to a taco. What goes on a taco? We need the shell. Okay. We need the tomato. Okay. We need the cheese. Okay. And... Meat. Yes. Yes. We need to go back to the house and get the products of taco so we can come back here and put the products of taco together so we can get the lettuce out of the house. No! What? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's go! go. Genius. Pure genius. Alright, has it come back to you yet? I'm still blinking. <laughs>
We're wasting our time. Okay, let me watch something else. I just gotta get back in the mindset. What do you want? Uh, I have a Are you really trying to concentrate? Dude, be quiet, I want to hear. Open this door! You have to pay for this pizza! We made it! You have to buy it! I don't care if you didn't order it! You have to buy it! What are you doing? We have a problem. It exists in the present. Watching videos from our past isn't going to solve anything. <laughs> Uh, Nathaniel, what are you talking about? Just let me watch the video. Dude, do you know what you're doing? You're hiding from the present. You think that going back and doing things exactly like we did them when we were young and immature is going to solve anything? Yes, I do, because I know for a fact that it worked in the book, and whatever in the book is coming to life right now, so it has to work in real life, and all I have to do is remember, so just let me see the video. No. Let me see the... David. This isn't going to solve anything. All right, you want a solution to our problem? I'll go right now. Yep, I'm gonna go right back there. I'm gonna march back, take what's mine, or at least whatever's left of it, and let whatever poor sucker who decides to go splunking next discover the beast that's currently residing in there. You can't go back. I'm going back. All for that stupid book? It's not stupid. That was our life. Was our life. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Not when guarded by a giant dragon. Yo, well, nothing comes easy in this world. You gotta fight for the things you want. Especially the things you need most! You don't need that book at all! I do! Why? It's all I have left! What do you mean? So, maybe college isn't going as great as I thought it would. I have no friends. I don't fit in with anyone. I'm just barely passing all my film classes. And, you know what? It never got better than those eighth grade years. All through high school, you know we had no friends. You know, back then I accepted it. I said, hey, maybe once I get to college, I can finally start meeting new people and I'm sure I'll fit in much better there. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. I mean, eighth grade was supposed to mark the beginning of my teenage years, finally growing up. The supposed best time of my life. <laughs> Look how that turned out. And now the rest of the crew has moved on and Jordan is doing God knows what. Same with Chelsea, and everybody else I lost track of. Oh, and all sense of creativity, it's gone. How am I supposed to make a career out of it? <laughs> it's gotta work somehow, because it's the only thing I know how to do. So, how am I supposed to enjoy growing up without any friends, or without any idea of what my future looks like? You know why I never enjoyed growing up, David? Because you never did. Oh, so you're the expert on growing up, the one who lives with his parents, ignoring college, and talks to puppets! No, David. Just because you moved out of the house and aren't going to college doesn't mean anything. If you can't let go of the past and learn to live and adapt into the present, then you're the one that needs to grow up. That dragon out there? You never let him go. And now he's real and is here to hurt you and everyone around you. I know what I need to do. I don't need to remember how we defeated the dragon. I need to write a new ending. I have to go back. I have to find the book and add a new demise of the dragon to the story. I'm with you. Nathaniel, this is my fault. Yes. Uh, everything that's happened, it's happened because of me. Yeah. I can't drag anybody else into this. Well, I was already dragged into it. You wouldn't be dragging anyone else into it, so... Are you sure? No, but I'm still gonna go. But there's plenty of things that you're gonna find really dangerous about this. So are you, I'm not gonna let you kill yourself. Fair enough. Come on, let's go. We're wasting time.
Do we have everything? Yes. List it off. Okay. Cheese. Yes. Tomato. Yes. Sangre. Yeah. Shell. Yes. Meat. Uh. I forgot the meat. You forgot the meat. Yeah, I'm sorry. You forgot the meat. What do we do? One of us will have to be the meat. And uh, uh, how do we decide? A game of wits! Shall we toss dice for it? No! Oh. What shall we do then? Your move. Oh, this is so hard. King me. Ah! I've been creamed. Get in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tasty. Okay, what you got? What? What? Okay, okay, delete that. Why? Delete that. Why? Be no, we're not writing that in the movie. That's the I dumbest know. plot twist ever. We are not. I'm not Shyamalan. Forget rainbows. This guy's dead. I told you not to kill it! You guys see a problem with this? Uh, I suppose not. He's gone now. I don't think this is gonna be harming us much. No. I mean, we can't murder it now, so wait. Murder it. Muerto daily, Chuka? <laughs> murder of lettuce? Murder of lettuce. He, he knew we were gonna murder him. He must have been psychic or something. He knew we were gonna murder him. He was just trying to protect himself. And we killed him. We should have a burial for him. Yeah. Good night, sweet prince. 
want to go drink some more milk and sangre? Yeah, sure. Me gusta! Where are you guys going? Not, not, not fighting, fighting dragons. dragons. <laughs> Like injured. The word 
dragon, it's literally cut off. Maybe, like, whatever else is in this book. If the word dragon is destroyed, then the real dragon will be destroyed. Let's destroy it, then! Wow, that sword really does destroy things. Not the dragon, apparently he's still alive. What? How? Daniel, we have to destroy the whole book. His ideas are too powerful in here. All right, toss it down here and I'll give it away. All right, draw me the book. I think it's dead. So you've been quiet for quite some time now. Have I? Didn't say we're all the way back. Kind of in a dragon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any thoughts on the matter? You know, dragon. Dragons get defeated and stuff. You know? Dragons don't really exist nowadays in this time period. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay. You know, it happens. It happens. Yeah, I know. Are you all right? I am actually. I mean, I know how much that book meant to you. So is that kind of? Yeah, whatever. I mean, destroying it for good. I can't imagine doing that willingly. Like I that. didn't destroy anything, actually. What do you mean? I know I couldn't have it stick around forever, you know, because what am I holding on to that's going to hurt me next? What other dragons am I going to have to face? So I took one last look through the pages, I got what I needed from it, and I let go. So essentially you grew up? You forgot, you let the past live in the past, you're just focused on the present and future now? You know what this calls for. What? A celebratory song! My body loves I don't think I'm gonna do that. For old time's sake. I mean, hey, I went with you on a book quest that was stupid from the beginning. Just, you can't do something for me now? <coughs> My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. So bring the
come from? Where did anything where you can come from? The wind. As we turn the pages of our very lives. As we chronicle our experiences in the books of our pasts. We must ask ourselves, which are the stories that are to be continued, concluded, and to which we leave ambiguous and open-ended? Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Stories to tell over and over. Stories to experience but once. What have we learned from the outside world? And what do we learn from inside ourselves? What is the correlation of these separate worlds? What are the pieces of our past and present that build the bridge to our future? It is as we depict the answers to these questions, it is then we achieve an understanding of ourselves, come together as the human race to share these stories and understand each other. Now, what's your story? I think we're done. Mm. What do you think? I don't really like no, it. No, I mean, yeah, there's total garbage to start over. Let me go. I don't want to be your hero. I don't want to be a big man. Fight with everyone else. You're
your masquerade I don't want to be a part of your parade Everyone deserves a chance to Walk with everyone else While holding down A job to keep my girl around And maybe buy me some new strings And her a night out on the weekend And we can whisper things Secrets from our American dreams Baby needs some protection But I'm a kid like everyone else